Well, speaking of American drivers, it's been reported that your son has been given the green light by FIA to bring a new team to Formula One, an American team. How hopeful of you are of getting fully accepted and what would that bring to the sport of Formula One? Well, obviously, from where I stand, uh, I'm very proud of what uh, Michael's ambitions are and his team uh, to be in Formula One. And, uh, you know, so far, I think uh, we have reason to be optimistic. And um, if so, then uh, for sure that uh, there will be a reason to cultivate some American talent to join Formula One. There's no question about that. All right. That's it. Nice and easy. Lewis Hamilton has committed his future to Mercedes after some rumors about his future. Does that show that he has faith in Mercedes to get back to the top and challenge Red Bull again? And could he add to his seven titles before he retires? Oh, yes, Lewis. I mean, uh, why would he go anywhere else? I mean, it's, uh, with Mercedes, that's his uh, probably best possibility uh, to resume uh, his winning ways and uh, win another title. No question, he's young enough. And he certainly uh, has still all of the desire that I could see, you know, to be at the top. Uh, and, and again, you know, uh, uh, after being a multi, multi time world champion, uh, you know, you don't lose that ability. Uh, regardless of whether, <clears throat> excuse me, he does win an eighth championship, what will his legacy be? And could he go down as the best of all time? Well, they, you know, if you hold a record, if he, you know, right now, uh, he equaled a record that I thought would never be approached in my lifetime anyway. And, uh, and there's no reason why, you know, he's still young enough that he could go for the eighth title. And um, it's going to take a long time for anyone to reach that and, and surpass that. So, yeah, he's definitely one of the greats for sure. Absolutely. Deservedly so. Former McLaren driver Daniel Ricciardo has been confirmed for Alpha Tori. Could that be a disappointing for him given the talk of him replacing Perez at Red Bull? Well, you know, that's a very delicate situation. I think, uh, you know, that uh, Daniel obviously, uh, you know, he had a bit of a sabbatical here and, and coming back. And then unfortunately, you know, he had this injury. Uh, so he, he needs almost prove himself all over again, you know, to earn a top position, you know. So uh, I think um, he, he will be okay with Alpha Tauri. I mean, uh, they're capable. And the moment of brilliance will not go unnoticed. Fernando Alonso had a very good season for Aston Martin compared to where they were last year. But at age 42, how long can he keep it going? Oh, Fernando is timeless. Fernando Alonso, uh, I just love to see, you know, how much energy he still has and uh, how much desire is still within him. Um, and, you know, after taking a sabbatical, you know, from Formula One, I thought, man, I don't know, better be careful about coming back. And here is coming back strong as ever. Uh, so I think he brought... Uh, he brought us from Martin to, to a level that uh, that's almost... Uh, did not expect that maybe they did not expect but uh, they certainly are giving him the equipment that's capable but he's taking it there where will his legacy fit in the sport i think his uh, fernando's legacy is that of uh, a very ambitious driver you know to to try to conquer different disciplines uh, you can tell he ventured into indycar you know at indianapolis he's looking at uh, you know then winning le mans um, you know, I, I respect somebody like that. You know, there's pure love for driving and the sport to be curious like that. And, um, and, and again, not just drive, try to win in, in that category that's not your specialty.